All right, Shalom Makim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem, and the name Yahweh Shai, which is His only begotten Son, Waha Raka Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit, and double honors to the Apostle Elders, a great millstone, and salutations to you, Akim, out there laboring and doing this work in truth and sincerity. And as you can see, um, um, got the video of uh, Louis Farrakhan's remarks in Grand Rapids, you know, which is where, you know, I myself and the other Akim is based out of in uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, you know, where our lot is to push this, tr this truth. And, um, you know, he was here on the, on the 24th. And, um, you know, pretty much, you know, I just wanted to play just a small segment of this clip here, you know, showing that, uh, you know, even though he uh, claims himself to be, you know, a Muslim or whatnot, he pretty much, you know, knows the truth, you know, concerning Jake here in America, that we're the real Israelites. So let me just play this real quick. The niggas, I mean the Jews. Give me water. And they give him vinegar to drink. Water. Oh, he's the king of the niggas. I mean the Jews. All right, you know, I mean, we know that the word nigga is just it, just a byword that they put on, you know, you you Judites here in America and all across the world, you know, wherever um, Judah is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, so, you know, pretty much, I mean, it's prophetic because, you know, the Most High, you know, it's pretty much reawakening you know us to know that you know we're the israelites in the uh last days you know just as prophecy fulfills itself you know this is uh hosea 1 and 10 says Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. All right. So, you know, where it was declared unto us here in the Americas that, you know, we were just uh, Africans or, you know, just uh as far as the northern kingdom, just people who who's uh, sojourned in this land, you know, it's now being declared that we're the sons of the living power, you know, the sons of the Most High, Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shai, you know, and that we're the real Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. All right. So really, there's no excuse as far as, you know, for every Israelite here in America not to know by now that they're of the the house of Israel. It says, Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. All right? So, and that's, that's taking place, you know. Mosiah is gathering the children of Israel, you know, those of the elect and one third that's going to be delivered and we're going to dwell in our homeland, which is the land of Israel. You know, which is getting ready to take place in these last days. OK. All right, this is uh, Romans 8 and 16. 
The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. All right, because all of the prophecies of what will befall the children of Israel in the last days only fits you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. So it only stands to reason that by the Spirit and these things being discerned in the last days that we are the children of Israel, you know? You know, we're not niggas. We're not, um, you know, Puerto Ricans or Haitians or Dominicans, so on and so forth, you know. But we are the uh, children of Israel, you know, from the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord, Yahweh, shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And that she, ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. Meaning no man shall redeem you. All right. So as far as uh, the transatlantic slave, slave trade that this prophecy is alluding to. That only fell on one nation of people. Okay? The Jew, the fake, the Jewish that's over in our land, land right now, you know, this prophecy does not fit them at all. You know, but they were the ones who uh, funded and created the slave ships for, for you so-called Negroes and uh, natives to be shipped off into slavery. All right? And uh, this is Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, No one of thee shall fail, none shall want her mate. From my mouth it hath kept commanded, and in spirit it hath gathered them. All right, the book of the Lord is the Holy Bible, not the Quran, you know, not any other, you know, religious book uh, attributing it, itself to any other false gods, not to Allah or Buddha or any of the other um, madness, you know, but the Holy Bible, you know, where we learn of our power, who is the Most High Yahweh, through His Son Yahweh Shai. All right, this is Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord Yahweh, our power is one power, one Lord. All right. And people like, uh, you know, Farrakhan knows this, okay? That's why most of at every one of his seminars, you see him quoting from the Bible. You know, you see him quoting from the scriptures. And this is, isn't the only time that, you know, Farrakhan has confessed, you know, to you Jakes here in America being the Israelites. All right, so with that, you know, you know, pretty much the average everyday Negro in America by now should know that they're Israelite, you know. And if they don't, it's mainly because they they don't want to know. And that that's where the prophecy of two thirds of our people come in who walk after their own lust to destruction and don't want to come back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So I just wanted to point that out, you know. So with that, um, off to the next one. Shalom.